Hey everybody, thanks for coming to dance with me. I'm Laura and today we're gonna to work on a version of a vintage routine called the Trickeration and that version is called the Queen Swings Basie. This routine is gonna be easier if you already know the Trickeration move, lock, turn, rocks, half break, and the TOBA break. If you need it, I have explanations of those moves in the description. Here's what it looks like. I found an armful of sweetness and I'm happy as can be because that armful of sweetness belongs to me. My perfect picture of neatness is with me constantly Because that picture of neatness belongs to me Yes, I fell, but I know I acted wise I can tell that I'm really found a prize I love my arm full of sweetness My heart is gay and free Because that arm full of sweetness belongs to me Big thank you to Adam Brzezowski and Latasha Barnes for talking to me about the history of this routine. A lot of the material from the Queen Swings Basie comes from this vintage routine called the Trickeration, which has been taught in the Lindy Hop community since around 2001 by one of the original Savoy dancers, Norma Miller, who is a legend who we will talk about. But for right now, let's talk about the Trickeration. In 1931, Cab Calloway was working at the Cotton Club and he had a song called Trickeration. Now probably chorus girls may up a routine to that song. Back in those days, you would use the same routine for years and years and years, possibly because there was no YouTube. Anyhow, in the mid-30s, Norma learned that routine at the Apollo from some of those chorus girls. When she had her own dance troupe, she used the trickeration as like a BS chorus. She used the trickeration as an audition piece. She would be associated with that routine and would teach that routine for the rest of her life, which was long. She died at 99. After Norma's death in 2019, Adam Brzezowski, who had been traveling around and teaching Trickeration with Norma and had known her for 20 years, organized the Global Trickeration Project where dancers from all over the world did her routine and it was compiled in a video tribute to the late Queen of Swing. And it's a beautiful video and it's linked in the description. So why aren't I teaching that version? Honestly, because there are already a lot of great resources out there covering that version. If you wanna learn it, which you should, there's a link of Adam teaching it from behind with Norma. You can see her right there and it's linked in the description. The version we're learning is something that she made up with two other Lindy Hop greats, Chester Whitmore and Chaz Young, who is Frankie Manning's son. It got its new name from this dancer, Latasha Barnes, who asked Norma if the name could be changed from a version of the Trickeration to the Queen Swings Basie because Norma is the Queen and its dance to Rockabye Basie. No, we won't be playing Rockabye Basie in this video because it will get flagged. I was very, very lucky and I got to learn this version from Norma with Peter Strom assisting and I'm gonna do my best to teach it very similarly to how it was taught, how Norma preferred to teach it, which is gonna be a lot of dancing and not a lot of explanation. I'm gonna be facing away. We're gonna be breaking down the moves while we dance. You're going to use your eyes and your mind to figure out what these movements are and it will make you strong. Good luck. Here here we go.
that's the first phrase. Let's move on, starting with the last move of that phrase, the trickeration. Let's move on to the next sequence. It's basically the trickeration into a cheat step into a half break. Know that going into it so you can see the parts.
dancing basically 10 minutes. Well done. Let's do a water break. And while we do, I'm going to talk to you about Patreon. Thank you so much people of Patreon for supporting me and making this video free for everybody in the world, including people like you. And if you want to join them, the link is in the description. Okay, let's get back into it. For this next song, we're just going to review everything we've done so far, starting with, let's think about it, the swivels, Somebody loves me. into the fishtail, into the trickeration sequence with the lock turn on the right side. Into the trickeration sequence with the lock turn on the left side. Into scoops. Into the Charleston variation. Into rocks. Into the trickeration sequence with the cheat step into the half break. Into skip ups into the trickeration sequence on the left side, and then start over again from the top. It seems like a lot, but repetition is everything. Somebody loves me, I wonder who, I wonder who he can be. Somebody loves me, I wish I knew Who he can be worries me For every guy who passes by I shout Hey maybe you were meant to be my lover Baby, somebody loves me I wonder who It's you. Meant to be my, my lover, baby. Well, so 
right, we're getting closer, but let's have a quick note on that move that looks like a half break that starts on the odd beats. That move really threw me off for a long time and still does sometimes because half breaks start on the even beats. That move is called scoops. So think about scooping whenever you do that move. I'm still not totally happy with the way I do it, but play around with it on your body, see what you find. All right, let's keep going. into a few tips. When I was taking this class from Norma, she didn't go into a lot of detail other than the rhythm is the most important thing. You want to build everything up from the rhythm. We need to have a visceral internal sense of what sound the move makes and then make that sound swing along with the music. And you want to consider the audience the entire time. Additionally, there were two other details that she really cared about in this section. Thing one, the running part. She really wanted to look like your arms are running. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, make it look like you are running. Thing two, the paddle steps around. She really wanted it to be about the, the butt, the butt, mm, the butt, mm, the butt, the butt, the butt. Hey. Stick that thing out and twist it. Okay, now we're gonna build up that next part in nice tiny pieces, starting with a half break after the paddle steps into that move, this move. You know what I'm talking about. Here we go.
one of the great titans of Lindy Hop. She was born in 1919, lived in Harlem, New York, where the Savoy is, and from a really early age, she got a lot of recognition for how great she was at dancing by people like the great Twistmouth George and Leonard Reed. She was one of the very youngest members of Whitey's Lindy Hoppers, which was like the troop back in the day, if you don't know. She made her film debut in A Day at the Races when she was just 17. And if you don't know A Day at the Races, it's a Marx Brothers film that has a fantastic Lindy Hop number in it, and you gotta check it out. She also represented Lindy Hop in all sorts of other super iconic films like Keep Punchin', aka The Big Apple, Hot Chocolates, and of course, Hell's a Poppin'. If you wanna see all of those dance numbers, they are linked in the description. Norma loved all dance so she enrolled in quote-unquote proper dancing school to learn modern styles like Martha Graham's technique and paid her way through by producing shows at Small's Paradise. During a time when it was pretty difficult for black women to do anything, especially in show business, she made her own dance troops. In 1952, she formed the Norma Miller Dancers. Then, when large groups were no longer profitable in the 60s, she formed Norma Miller and her jazz men. Those are the troops where they did the original trickeration a bunch. But wait, the woman didn't just dance. She also did stand-up comedy. What? Yes, she performed with Red Fox and Sammy Davis Jr. Legit. She also traveled around the world teaching Lindy Hop, teaching trickeration, and telling stories about what the Savoy was like like back in the day, what Lindy Hop, what Frankie Manning was like, what Sammy Davis Jr. was like, super interesting. Links, again, in the description. If you wanna learn more about her, she also has an autobiography, Swingin' at the Savoy, a memoir of a jazz dancer. And now, a cautionary tale. Don't mess up like I messed up. Even though I'm super lucky, I started dancing early enough where I got to see Norma Miller in person several times, I didn't know the history of the trickeration. I didn't know a lot of her history because I didn't ask. Partially because I'm shy and I thought that she was scary, but looking back at it, that's a bad excuse. The world only got to have Norma Miller in it for 99 years. When she transitioned, she took all sorts of stories and memories and knowledge that we don't have access to anymore. My advice to you is if you are fortunate enough to learn from a great, especially if you are learning a vintage something from a great, go up to that person after class and say thank you and ask if you have the time, if they have the time, any stupid question. If you learned a vintage something, you can ask about the history of that vintage something. Boom, an automatic in. Ask where their favorite place to perform was. Ask about the weirdest gig they ever did. Ask about their favorite performer. If you don't have a good question, don't worry about it. Ask anything. Typically, they are great at talking and they will tell you stories that will amaze you. All right, hopefully we're all inspired. We're ready to move. Let's do the whole routine together, nice and slow. I will do my best to call out what's coming up next. Good luck to us both. A swivel forward. Fishtail back. call out what's next anymore. See if you can walk that line between thinking about what you're doing and remembering what's coming next. After all, in order to do choreography, you got to remember the choreography. Somebody 
Everybody loves me I wonder who I wonder who he can be Somebody loves me I wish I knew Who he can be worries me For every guy who passes by I shout, hey maybe You were meant to be my loving baby Somebody loves me I wonder who Maybe it's you because of flagging and stuff like that. However, this is a song by the Brooks Primo Orchestra. It has a great vibe, really similar tempo, and if you like it, you can get a link to it in the description. section after this which we're not going to go over in this video because there's only so much time however I would encourage you to go learn this routine in person Norma asked Latasha Barnes to teach it and she is you can also learn this routine from Chester Whitmore who helped co-create this routine you can also learn it from Angela Andrew who is another badass and don't forget learning the original preparation from Adam Brzezowski I hope you had fun and learned a lot if you did the algorithm wants you to like and subscribe also if you enjoyed the music it's in the description check it out and very importantly Half of the money that I get from this YouTube channel goes towards organizations that support African diasporic artists and art because Lindy Hop is a black dance that was very important to Norma and it's very important to Lindy Hop. And the best way to learn that dance, I think, is to dance a lot. Don't be shy. Go, dance. Dance.